Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 16. So yesterday we started in on the referrals applet, and today I'm going to show you another what I believe is sort of a secret weapon or hidden tool inside of Command that not many agents know about, and yet if you were to utilize this tool at, say, a listing appointment, I think you're going to provide the edge that you need over your competitors in order to secure that listing, especially when it comes to marketing that listing nationwide. That secret tool is called referral patterns and let's dive into that inside the referral applets today. So fifth icon down, we're gonna dive into and open up the referral applet. You can see from yesterday, we now have a new pending invite. If I click on that pending invite, just as a heads up, it shows that that was an outbound invite to Diller. Diller's still working on getting that accepted, but we can see that it's been sent out. If for any reason we wanted to cancel it, you could. When we start getting invites in, we would see those invites on this side. Uh, but what we're talking about today involves the map tab. So we're going to come back to the map tab. We used this to search for production agents yesterday. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. So I live in Katy, Texas. So the first thing that we need to do is enter the city that we work out of or live in. Underneath this tab, we've seen production, but the next drop down that I want to show you is called referral patterns. Watch what happens when I click on referral patterns. All of a sudden we get a quick animation and you can see those arrows are going outward from Katie. And basically what is that, that is then showing is what percentage of referrals are sent by agents that work in Katie and where are they being sent to, agents that work where. Now these are referral patterns to be clear and yet they can be loosely associated with migration patterns, right? If you have a lot of agents sending a lot of referrals from one city to another city, very high likelihood that there are a lot of people moving from point A to point B. So yesterday I told you that I know a lot of people are moving from Katy to Austin, Texas. How did I know that? Well, you can even see it's the number two referred city probably the number one because Katy is just a suburb of Houston, but you can see a lot of people do move locally. They're just moving from the suburbs to the city, if you will. 9% of those referrals being sent are going from Katy to Houston, and yet 5% of them going from Katy to Austin. Now, how does this help you at a listing appointment? Well, this tab doesn't really help you at the listing appointment because it's showing where buyers are leaving to go. However, where are buyers leaving to come? Meaning, where are they moving from when they move to Katy, Texas? Well, you can see there are two boxes here at the top. There are sent and then there are received. So let's click on the received box. <clears throat> and now we can see where are the referrals coming from when they come to Katy, Texas? So meaning agents that are referring business to agents that work in Katy, where are those referrals coming from? Again, a loose correlation to actual migration patterns around the referral patterns. And here again, you can see 8%, the number one referral pattern, referral sent come from agents that work in Austin to agents that work in Katy. If you're sitting at the listing table and you're talking about the marketing of that specific listing, Let's be real, everyone talks about marketing their listing locally. They're gonna do postcards, they're gonna do Facebook and Instagram ads, they're gonna do open houses, they're gonna do flyers, all of the things that we do locally within our market. And yet, how many of you sit down and say, I'm not only going to market your property locally, I'm gonna market your property in the five cities that I believe have the highest likelihood of buyers coming from meaning we're going to market to buyers who don't live in Katy. We're going to market to buyers who live in the five cities that they are most likely to move from when they come to Katy. In this case, I would begin marketing that property in Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, College Station, and Frisco. And when we get to campaigns, right, moving a little bit ahead of ourselves, I'm going to actually show you how you can run Facebook and Instagram ads 
targeting consumers in a city outside of where you live. So it's a great tool to sort of pair together where you can say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, I know the referral patterns because the number one thing is I work with Keller Williams. We're an international company with over 180,000 agents nationwide, and we track where our referrals are coming from and going to. In fact, let me show you. Can you imagine pulling out your laptop or your tablet, coming into the actual map, and using this little animation to sort of capture their attention and say this is because not only are we an amazing real estate company, we're an amazing tech company as well, and we track all of this sort of data. So I'm gonna track your listing and market it here in Katy, and I'm also gonna market it in all of the following cities, right? That makes you stand out at that listing table, and it's a tool that not a lot of other brokerages have, or at least they can say they have, but we're actually showing them that we have this. If you don't have a laptop or a tablet, you don't know if you're gonna have Wi-Fi at the listing presentation, you could always just screenshot this screen and then add this to your listing presentation when you talk about the marketing you're gonna do for a new listing. So that's it for today, guys, day 16. Remember, if you're also looking to make referral partnerships, right, you wanna grow your referral network, well, where should you target agents? Hey, there's a whole lot of Austin agents sending a whole lot of referrals to Katie. How many Austin agents do I know, am I in relationship with, such that if they come across a referral, a buyer moving from Austin to Katie, that they might consider sending it to me. If you just say, hey, I'm gonna make referral partners across the US, that's great, don't get me wrong. And yet, you might concentrate those efforts on making referral partners in the top cities where referrals are coming from when they move to your city. Hopefully that's helped both secure a larger referral network when you begin to make those efforts and also help you secure more additional listings when you show this tech tool to the sellers at your next listing presentation. Guys, day 16, that's a wrap. Hope you're all having a fantastic day as always and I'll look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow.